Before we look at how to repair a pothole, let's discuss what causes them in the first place. Over time, vehicles driving on the road cause wear and tear. Combining that with the intense Texas heat creates cracks in the asphalt. When it rains, water seeps into those cracks, getting underneath the pavement. With fluctuating temperatures and humidity, a gap forms between the pavement and the base, pushing the pavement upwards. As vehicles, especially heavy industrial vehicles, drive over these weakened areas, the pavement collapses causing a hole. As more and more traffic drives over that hole, the larger the pothole gets. And now, let's look at how to repair a pothole. Hello everyone, my name is Donald Reese. I'm the Director of Public Works for the City of Victoria. And we are out here today on Odom Street with Henry Ibarra, who is one of our streets and drainage crew leaders. And he has been with the city for 35, almost 36 years. Yes, sir. And most of that time he has spent patching the streets of Victoria. And so today we have a fairly large pothole out here and we're gonna go through our basic steps of how we patch this pothole. Uh, man, we're gonna start sweeping this thing out. I guess we'll leave it to the side here. Okay, let's get the jackhammer done. Now that the hole has been cleaned up a little and dried out a little bit, our next step is to come in and square the hole off. They'll use a, uh, a hydraulic tool to come in and make the edges more square. So instead of having a, a kind of a rounded shape and a belly in it, they'll square it off, which will allow the material to pack in there better and stay longer. If you leave that belly in, then it's gonna have a tendency to start kind of wobble itself out, and then you've lost all the work that you've done. There you go. Let me juice it up real quick. Yeah, right there is good. Yeah. That's good. Don't go too deep. Push it down. Good start uh, picking. So now that the guys have squared off the hole and given some edges for that asphalt to really bind to and then taken some of the belly out of the bottom so that it's not moving around as much, they're going to apply a tack oil. The reason we put that tack oil in there is so that there's something on the bottom of that hole, that pothole, that gives the asphalt something to stick to. Make sure you get the edge real good. Yeah. So now that the tack coil is in the hole, we're ready to go with the hot mix, application yeah. of the hot mix. Guys are gonna drop in enough hot mix to fill this pothole up, and then they're going to rake it in there make it as smooth as they can and then after that they'll use a vibratory plate compactor to tamp it down make everything nice and tight so 
So now that the asphalt has been applied and it's been raked down and squared up in there and, and everything's been cleaned up around it, they're going to use a vibratory plate compactor to kind of tamp everything down and get it settled in and locked in before people are ready to drive on it. So now the guys have tamped down the hot mix, it's ready to go, it's ready to drive on. As soon as they clean up, they'll clean up this debris, throw it in the hopper, pack up their cones, and they're off to the next pothole. So Henry, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Manuel, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Good job. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I believe they've got several more on this street alone that they're going to have to get to, so uh, we're going to let them get at it. <laughs>